Hi everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a uh, bathroom drain. And what I want to do first is go ahead and go through the steps that I did uh, originally and I tried to get it out. And as you can see, the middle cross part inside the drain broke off. And this is about 13 years old this drain. So what I did first was I went ahead and got an open end wrench and twisted like this and I had no luck and everything broke off inside of it. So that was the first step that I tried. And then after that I went ahead and took a nailing hammer and try to get that in the end of it or I try to get the claw inside the drain and then put a little bit of pressure on it and then twist and I had no luck with that and then I got a framing hammer where the claw is a little bit less uh, of an arc And I hadn't went ahead and got that in there. Put a little bit of pressure on the back and attempted to twist. And that didn't produce any results. So my next step was going to the home improvement store to buy a removal tool. Okay, here's the removal tool. And as you can see, it's got a half inch um, extension that you can put on the top of it and what the instructions tell you to do is just stick it in there slightly tap it with a hammer just so it's not going to move on you what I've got is an old half inch drive torque wrench and about a three inch extension. So I've got the half inch drive. I'll go ahead and see if this will remove it. I'll just go slow here. and it twisted off. So what I'll have to do is just hammer it in again. Get it a little bit tighter. Okay, as you can see, it did move, so I'll just go ahead and keep it pushed down and twist it slowly. Go in there. 
how it looks when it's removed. So I'll go ahead and clean it up around here. Put some more plumber's putty around there and we'll put the new one on. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, I went ahead and put some plumber's putty around the new drain. And it's a universal, really, if you, for different sizes. Because this is plastic ring with the threads on it will come off if you have a smaller drain. And I actually tightened it down a little bit so it's not going to come off. But you can unscrew this if it's a smaller drain. And so, once you get the plumber's putty on there, Screw that back in. bought an installation tool but what I'm gonna do is just put a rag in there with some needle nose pliers and just go ahead and turn it It's nice and tight. And you should see that plumber's putty coming out all around the edges. So once you get the drain back in, you can go ahead and finish installation. And for this one, it's just a twist top. So we'll go ahead and tighten this bar in there, this little dowel piece.
the smaller screwdriver. I've got a smaller screwdriver to tighten that down. And that's it. I'll just fill it up with water. And see how it works. Well, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Thanks for watching and good luck on your next home or automotive project.